Hey guys, it's Kay. Today I'm going to run through some of the great features of iPad OS Public Beta, which I've got running on my iPad 6th generation. Many of these enhancements address new ways to multitask. They've also modified the home screen. First, all the icons on the home screen are smaller, so you can fit more applications on the home screen. Also, now if you swipe over, you're able to access the Today's view on the home screen without having to swipe completely over. And of course, it's completely and fully customizable. You can add more widgets and remove widgets. And also, when you turn off your iPad and then switch it on again, this is what you normally see. But you can set it up so that the home screen widgets is always there, like this. So effectively, the widget screen is pinned to the home screen. So to do that, you simply swipe up and tap on the edit and then you select the always show the today view in landscape mode. So now if I click done, the today widget is going to stay here no matter what. So even when I scroll across the screen and come back, it's still there. So you can have all your widgets right over here. So if I go back into edit, I can add and remove widgets right from here. I can add Lightroom, I can add hot deals. Then I can click done and you'll see all those widgets right over here. And if I go back into edit, I can also rearrange these. What you'll see at the top is that I've dragged my favorite widgets to the top, which is news and weather. So they are effectively pinned to the top, no matter what. So let's say I want to know what's up next on my calendar and also my map destinations. Click done again. And there they are at the top below the news and weather widgets. So the next thing I want to talk about is the enhanced multitasking features. So for example, if I launch Safari, what I can do is pull any of the apps over here and dump them over here as a slide over. And the great thing is I can even add more slide over windows. And even these have multitasking features whereby I can switch between them on the fly. And then when I want to get rid of them, I just flick them up and boom, they're gone. So that's just great. That's the new slide over multitasking. The other thing you can do is that you can multitask certain apps in multi windows. So I can go to my notes application and I can work on two notes at the same time, maybe using one as a reference. So I can either view it as a slide over and then just close it by tapping on close. Or I can view the second note in split screen. I can also resize the whole thing, which is pretty cool. And then just work seamlessly between the two. I can also choose to put a different app in one of the side of the screen, just like that. It just takes the place of the other window, giving me split screen multitasking. So this also works in Safari. So if I launch Safari and let's open two tabs, let's use Bing as an example. So if I grab one tab here, and pull it to the side, we get split screen multitasking. And you're free to browse the internet in two separate tabs. And then I can swipe this back and forth to resize the screens exactly the way I need it. Okay, so that's cool. Now this also works with mail. So in the mail app, if I want to look at this mail right here, I can go over here and grab it and slide it to the side and boom, now I can have a split screen view for my mail as well. And when you're done with it, just swipe away. Also, when you press and hold on this, you get all these other options. So I can reply, reply to all, forward, mark, notify, mute, move message and delete. Pretty cool, eh? So those are the multitasking enhancements. Now, when you swipe up to access your windows, your existing multitasking projects will remain there and you can just get rid of them by swiping up. And it's as simple as that. So the next thing I want to talk about is the dark mode. So let's go into the settings and into display and enable dark mode. As you can see, everything becomes dark mode. Now, if you go into your Apple apps, they're going to be black and white. So if I go into Safari, there you go, it's all black. So let's try another one. If I go into maps, it's going to have the dark mode effect on it. If I go out and go into the app store, that's also going to have the dark mode effect on it, which is brilliant. If I go out of that and go into my mail, that's also going to have a dark mode. So any Apple based app is going to have the dark mode enabled on it. And again, you just go into settings and enable or disable it just right from here. And as you can see, it's a pretty quick changeover. The other thing I want to mention is that you have the automatic option. Now this has two settings. You can set the dark mode to come on automatically from sunset to sunrise, or you can set a custom schedule for the dark mode to activate and deactivate, or you can just do it manually, which is equally great. Okay guys, that was some of the highlights, which included the multitasking enhancements, the home screen with widgets, and of course the dark mode and light mode. Those were the things that stood out to me. Now of course there's loads of more new things, but this is the beta version so it's hard to really see them all now. So that's it. If you have any comments, questions, do drop them down below and let me know. Okay guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.